We are repeatedly told that Islam means peace. Is this true? We have to explore this mantra on three levels, linguistic, historical, and actual. Linguistically, Islam does not mean peace and never meant peace. This disingenuous explanation is spread by people who are either utterly ignorant of the Arabic language or to purposefully deceive the unwary listener or reader. In Arabic, Islam has its root in the quadratic verb aslama, which actually means only one thing, submission, that is submission to the will of one God. The Quran, as well as the Muhammadan linguists, assert this. Historically, according to the Quran, a hadith, Arab and Islamic records, the spread of Muhammadan Islam in the Jazeera al Arabiya, that is the Arabian Peninsula, was achieved by the shedding of a sea of Arabian blood to start with, followed later on with the Arabian conquest through the shedding of an ocean of blood of the conquered and subjugated peoples. Actually, as we see, listen to and read in all the world's media, almost 95% of all acts of terror and war around the world, from the Philippines and Indonesia to India, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Iraq, to name just a few in Asia, then to Africa, Europe and the Americas, are all conducted by Muhammadan Muslims. These acts of wanton and indiscriminate terror target not only Jews, but also Christians, Buddhists, Hindus, animists, and fellow Muhammadan Muslims. In fact, more Muslims are killed by other Muslims than by any other outsiders to the faith of Muhammadan Islam. Muhammadan Muslim males exhibit almost identical characteristics irrespective of race, culture, or sect, and they are as follows. An obscene degree of hypocrisy, racism, and mendacity, compounded with a pathological, depraved indifference to facts, reality, logic, veracity, loyalty, morality, history, mercy, compassion, justice, and to language. The greatest tragedy in modern times is the culture of denial, the denial of facts, and the denial of reality, in spite of the horrendous pictures that we see almost daily on TV and read about in the news media. This state of mental denial is similar to one who had suffered a traumatic experience that would be too horrible to rethink. In the case of Muhammadan Islam, the solution to this particular problem requires a worldwide concerted effort with the use of draconian and extreme legal, educational, theological, and physical measures.